okay guys so you've been able to see how i use um or how you can use the standings to predict your corner games okay so the next thing i'm going to show you guys is the next tip or the next strategy on how you can win with corners aside using the standings okay so the next one is called the close match the close match strategy now this close match strategy is usually in play in play life bet strategy now i always like to get on this from 85 minutes from 84 85 minutes of the game yes from 84 to 85 minutes of the game so before um you i go into details of this strategy there's an app because most of the time when you are tracking these games there are so many games playing and there are so many games you are you are tracking at the same time to make sure you get all the or the game has all all the requirements for you to get on okay so there's this particular app i i did some research and i i bumped into this app it's called spot alerts this video they did not sponsor or they are not sponsored they did not sponsor this video rather so just based on my research and i feel it's something that is helpful and will be helpful to you also what this app does is you can use it to um, set an alert for the close match strategy you set it to 85 minutes so now once that game gets to 85 or the 85th minute it starts it just um, alerts you so you get the notification and from there you can head to your bookie then you or you can check what i'm going to teach you now so that at the end of the day you get on this game okay okay guys so let me quickly show you guys the spot alert i was talking about this is the spot alert the one with the whistle icon so you can get it from your apple store your iphone uh, app, uh, apple store or your android um, app store okay so this is how the app looks like this is how the app looks like so you already have some leaks there so if you check the top you see uefa champions league you see uefa champions league so you know there are no uefa games now so you see no match no matches scheduled so you have women's world cup so premier league so on the days this they have these fixtures you are going to see games definitely there okay so i just want to show you guys how it works i wish we can get a game that's uh, playing today but i don't think so but i just have to do this video so when the leaks resume okay so once you open the app and you click on any of the available leaks you will see the games available for that day you see the games available for that day so it's as simple as that okay i think we have europa we have europa So let's check Europa. Oh no, no games today for Europa Conference. <coughs> so if you check down, you are going to see alerts. Okay, so this is when you've already set the alerts. You can see no alert received. So set, you can click on set league alert. So you see select a league above to set league wide wide alert to set alert for spe specific games or teams select the games or teams tab below select an item and tab the set alert spot so when we have games okay so once you just come here you are going to definitely see you're going to definitely see games so you can see like europa conference europe europa conference uh, league we have um player is showing yellow red so close this is the close match i'm talking about so you can see within one goal at 85 or later now now when when i click on this close match okay any game under 
this Europa any game under this Europa okay once it gets to 85 minutes it allows you now the essence we're not we're not um, betting on goals remember we're betting on corner so the essence of this app the essence of this app is to set the alert once any game gets to 85 minutes it should alert us to this will help us okay this game they've got into it five minutes and you can use the strategy i have showed you everything i have showed you to now make your decisions and get on the close match strategy so i just wanted to show you guys how the app works and how you can use it to set the games or the leagues you want to get alert for because the essence of this app is most of the time you are checking this game you are checking this league so sometimes a game might get to 85 minutes and you will not know so maybe when you are checking that game again they are already at 87 minutes or 90 minutes and you now start feeling pained like ah why did i not get on at 85 so that's the essence of this app okay so i just wanted to show you guys how it works so when we have games you definitely i think today as at when i'm recording this video we have europa conference so you can see the close match has been enabled so now any game europa conference they are playing to the ones it's 85 minutes they are going to send me alerts okay so now i will now make my decisions on which ones i am going to bet on with the corners strategy all right thank you guys this close match strategy um like i said it's usually from 84 to 85 minutes it's usually from 84 to 85 minutes of the game now the target here is one or two more corners now the reason is this after the qatar world cup before the qatar world cup the last world cup the qatar world cup you know 90 minutes is is, is usually the full like the full time and highest they add extra three to four minutes okay most of the time two minutes but after the qatar world cup game they came up with the new way of extra time which most of the time the list is four minutes most of the time you see five minutes plus six minutes plus seven minutes plus 10 minutes now the reason is because the number of time wasted wasted on the pitch during the match is being calculated as extra time unlike before they just have a fixed fixed way of adding extra time you know but now they consider a lot of things so which has really given us an edge on the corner market okay so now you know from 85 minutes you understand you are you have like more 9 to 10 minutes at least so from 85 minutes to 90 minutes you have 5 minutes or if you are playing from 84 minutes to 90 minutes you have 6 minutes then from 90 minutes to 4 minutes extra time or 5 minutes extra time so you are having 9 to 10 minutes which most of the time you can even get lucky and have more than 10 minutes now you are targeting just one or two corners if you are going for one corners from one more corner from 84 minutes you are having the odds around 1.4 or 1.5 it depends then if you are going for two more corners from 84 minutes or 85 minutes you are having the odds around 1.7 1.8 two odds so is, is a good way of doubling your money how do you know which of the games or matches to play from the 85th minute because you cannot just jump on any game you see simply because they are at the 84th or 85th minute and you play no there are some things you need to know there are some stats you need to check there are some requirements that needs to be met before you can make the decision and stick your money on these games now always put into consideration whereby the weaker team is playing home i said it before why the stronger team is playing away now the more interesting part is when they are playing goalless 
and the stronger team is trying to get a win or the more interesting part is when the weaker team is leading by one goal are you getting me the weaker team is leading by one goal now the stronger team would want to try and play more offensively so they can not lose that game okay so they cannot lose that game and thereby the weaker team is leading that game now they will now start playing more defensively that's what they call packing the boss they are going to pack the boss now the stronger team will play the more wider areas and that will lead to more deflections because the weaker team they are playing defense defensively so that will lead to more corners at the end of the day now remember the target is just two more corners from 84 to 85th minutes to full time you get and another thing to consider is any game that have less than five corners and they are at 84 or 85 minutes avoid that game it means they are not playing the style of getting corners are you getting it but any game that they have played over five corners let's say they have played six corners or seven corners you get or eight corners and other factors too like i said earlier the weak stronger team is losing or they are playing goalless so you know that they will put in more pressure to get more corners at the end of the day now these teams have been playing corners from the first half and they have had over six or seven corners it indicates that they are likely to be more corners before full time this strategy is very very simple if you can stick with everything i have said i am going to do a short recap like i said always make sure i use the the app i use is called spot alert for that particular for this particular strategy i set the games once it's it is because it's called the close match strategy so once it's 85 minutes it alerts you so then you need to check have they played over five corners before that 84 85 minutes make sure they are over five corners or even over six corners if they are playing under five corners know that their style of playing they don't need corners to avoid such game but if they are played over five corners it means they are likely or over six corners it means they are likely to play more corners and what you just need is two more corners to get a win okay then always make sure that the weaker team is playing at home and the stronger team is playing away and especially in a scenario whereby they are playing goalless or the weaker team is leading by one goal are you getting the mathematics so that way the weaker team would want to defend and the stronger team will want to play more offensively to get a goal so that will lead to more deflections and possible corners so crosses play a vital role in the um, close match strategy crosses generally give the best chance or chances of corners to hit before betting on corners in place make sure you look at the second half results <coughs> make sure you look into the second half of the game because the first half of the game there, 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 there may be more corners there may be more corners because of their pattern of playing now the second half of the game the manager can decide to change pattern because he, he feels that the first half did not really bring the result needed so they will change pattern of play so this time around they are not playing the corner pattern of game now uh, like using the wide areas and crosses remember crosses play a vital role in corners hitting in a game so this time around they may decide to play the possession pattern of football knock 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 and they get into they are just trying to get a goal since the crosses are not working again so that is why you need to start tracking from the second half because in most cases the that the data for the first half result becomes completely unreliable okay so you need to start checking from the second half of the game check the check the corners make sure that there are more corners in the second half make sure that before that 84 85 minutes there are more corners in the second half than they had in the first half then 
like I said, crosses play a vital role in corners hitting in a game. So if you notice that the second half of the game, they have more corners, which means they, they must have been more crosses in the second half. And how do you know how many crosses that should be in place before you go and, and go ahead picking your or, or jumping in, or into this um, 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 close match strategy? There are, no, there are no particular number of crosses that I need, but most of the time, it's always get good to check from 10, 10 corners and above. 10, con 10 to 14, co uh, sorry, not corners, um, 10 to 14 crosses and above. So especially when one side from both teams, 10 to 14 crosses from both teams, you get and there are there are more corners in the second half. Let's say they, they are playing. I remember I said earlier that if they are playing four to five corners before that 84, 85 minute, I said it earlier that you should avoid such game. Now it means that their pattern of playing, especially from the second half. They have changed pattern like i just said the coach might decide to change pattern from the crosses and the wide uh, range areas pattern of playing to the possession pattern of playing because they need a go if he feels the other pattern does not work for him okay so same applies with the uh, corners and crosses as well if they are playing four to five corners in 84 85 minutes you should avoid such game i said it earlier but if they have more corners in the second half and more crosses in the second half, then it shows they are likely to produce more corners in the second half of the game. So another thing to look out is the possession. Another thing to look out is the possession. Now you have checked the um, second half pattern. Now they have more corners in the second half. They have 10 to 14 crosses in the second half, which is good signals, okay? Now, the next thing to look at is possession, is possession. Especially, I said it earlier, especially in a situation whereby the favorites are losing or they are playing goalless. Now, they tend to push more men forward. They tend to push more men forward. And this will lead to more crosses, more using of the wide areas and possible corners hitting the game okay okay so the last thing to look out for is the possession okay the last thing to look out for is the possession i said this earlier that a situation whereby um a team the favorites is losing okay or they are playing goalless especially when they are losing okay so they tend to push more men forward they tend to push more men forward because they are looking for an equalizer or a win so they tend to push more men forward and tend to use the side areas or the wide areas more often which will lead to more crosses and possible corners hitting in the game so if the team can't hold possession of the ball or can't be in control of the game it will be hard for their wingers and fullbacks to get into the advanced areas okay um and this will reduce the chances and likely likelihood of crosses happening and um yeah, from the side areas wide areas and which will likely lead to corners so if the team can't hold possession of the ball or can't be in control of the game it will be hard for their wingers and fullbacks to get into the advanced areas okay um and this will reduce the chances and likely likelihood of crosses happening and um yeah, from the side areas wide areas and which will likely lead to corners so guys that's all about the close match strategy this strategy is very 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 amazing it's very amazing just make sure you followed me all through you can watch the video over and over again to understand and you can also put these things down it's really going to help you 
a lot it's something i am using and it's been amazing all through like i showed you guys earlier before we started i showed you the telegram group i created i showed you my corner kicks um results from when i started this corner strategy stuff and it's been pretty amazing so i expect lots of um comments on these lots lots of testimonies as well so um we we, we uh, so far we touched two big strategies okay um the final strategy on this corner kick so every weekend every weekend just go for over 7.5 corners yes every weekend just go for over 7.5 corners from the beginning of this video i already told you how you can look for using the um standings using the standard i explained i don't have to go back again you can rewind the video if you want to understand or watch again everything you need i have said okay so we touched this uh, um, predicting using standings and statistics then we touch the in play okay so this last one you just pick 7.5 corners every weekend don't be too greedy don't be greedy just target or aim for odds to 10 odds so here are the links to focus on every weekend to end this amazing strategies you winning with corners okay i'm going to share a formula a formula you can use generally when picking your over 7.5 corners okay now um the odds for the home team okay and the odds for the away team add it up add it up now let's say for example the odds for home team is two and the odds for a waiting is three add it up two plus three is equal to five then divide by two divide by two so that should be 2.50 odds right so any result you get that is less than three odds is good for overs over corner That's another formula you can use remember you still have to use the other strategy i have showed you also check standing check stats check everything i have showed you then you can now apply this formula also to be sure you are on track with your picks anything that is more than or from three odds above they are going to likely play on us so guys that is all for this strategy i have been getting lots of messages on my telegram on twitter everywhere regarding this corner kick strategy because i want to give you guys the best so i took my time to to to, to make this and to give you guys the best so all i just ask from you this is your first time of watching this video from this channel please please hit the subscribe button and like button and also put on your notifications for more more strategy that are going to come okay make sure you join my telegram also because i drop my games there my corner games and i'm going to be sharing more strategies i'm going to be sharing strategies on how to predict over 1.5 goals i'm going to be sharing strategies on how to predict second half goal i have i just discovered that too and i've used it to win big odds recently i'm going to show you the results after i end this video or you can join my telegram to also see the results of 1 23 odds 17 odds 18 odds 16 odds back to back like in just less than a week or thereabout okay so these are strategies that i will put together and teach you guys you know it yourself you predict yourself and you win yourself okay so it's pretty amazing value i'm giving out here so all i just need from you hit the subscribe hit the like button put on your notification for more amazing video that will be dropping here